Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a Gmail email account on Outlook 365 Business. So if I open up my web browser I'm logged into my Gmail account here and I've also created another cPanel account for testing afterwards. We'll test it. So for now we want to set this email account up on Outlook. So let's go ahead and open up Outlook here and we'll go to file and we'll click add account and the first thing it will do is ask me for the email address so I'll paste that into here and click on let me set up account manually and click connect and then we need to select the relevant option in this case we're going to select Outlook so we'll click on that and then all of the settings are pretty much done we'll just click on um, done here and now Outlook will, try, will start to sync the Gmail account between the two different devices so here's the browser and now you can see all the emails coming in through um, Gmail uh, sorry all the emails coming into Outlook from Gmail so what we want to do now is um, go to uh, let's let's actually create a new email so I'm going to create a new email and that's going to go from my Gmail account and I'm going to send it to my test cPanel account so let's test this quickly so we'll go to cPanel here we'll send an email to it I will test email message let's just test this all out so I'm just going to write this test message and send that and then if you want to speed things up when you send you can click here and then click on send receive and that will force it to send the email out uh, rather than waiting for it to check if there's an email to be sent so that email is going out and we should see that now in the sent items here it is in the sent items here so we've sent email out now let's send one back so let's click refresh here and see if that hits the inbox that may take a little bit of time to be received uh, gmail is not always the quickest of sending emails but if we look in our gmail account over here and click on sent items we can also see that we sent that same test item here to that particular email address, my other test email account. So we just got to wait for it to arrive here and we'll try and reply to it. So here it is, that Gmail test email. We're going to click reply and we'll just reply to this. Um, this is a test reply and we'll click send. So that email has gone out back to Gmail and we can see the reply here. This is a test reply and we go to our Gmail account, go to the inbox and we'll see the test reply here as well. So everything's synced together. We just basically set up the Gmail account here. We sent a test email to my other email account and we sent one from that other email account back to Gmail. We can see it in the inbox here. We can see it in the inbox here as well. So everything is synced together. You can also right click on here. In fact, what you can do is right click here and create a new folder and let's just call this client client uh, data so we should have a new folder here called client data we can go back to here and click send receive and that will sync the folders as well now so let's just wait for that to happen see it's synchronizing folders and then if we refresh we see client data here new folder right if we click on that folder it's empty if we drag that email into here, uh, cannot move this item. The operation cannot be performed because your message has been changed. So let's try this one here. Client data. And then in this, if we click send receive again and refresh, we can see that message is now sitting in this client data. If I right click on here, and delete the folder and then click send receive that same folder should get removed from this side here as well so we can just go ahead and click on uh, let's let, let this finish click on inbox and if we refresh let's refresh the browser this should be removed in theory uh, but maybe that won't happen okay maybe we've got to remove this manually I think when you delete the folder from this side, it won't automatically delete it from Outlook. Let's just try one more time. We'll send receive and just make sure that's correct. 
because that's more for I think that's for more for for precaution if you deleted something from here by accident but you didn't delete it from here then um that will cause a problem right you lose all your email so we can right click on here we should be able to delete this so let's see let's try and delete it let's go back to inbox and remove label here removing label da, 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 from this conversation okay delete so that's gone that's been now been removed okay so it's treated as a label in here whereas in here it's true it's called a, a folder right sometimes the naming conventions between two different email clients is a bit different in here it's called a folder but on the outlook it's called a label so that's the difference between them so that's how you go about setting up a gmail account i'm going to go to this web mail i don't really need this email account it was just a test so i'm going to click on uh, manage here and delete that email so don't bother sending me anything there i won't receive it and i'll delete this gmail account i won't need that anymore either so let's close this down we'll go to file go to uh, account settings here and then finally i'll just delete that gmail account from here as well and my outlook is back to its original state so that's how you go about setting up a gmail account on outlook uh, microsoft outlook 365 business okay i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial